Ladies and gentlemen, it is 8.34 in the evening. I am doing this video because I've had some criticism from some very intelligent people. As a matter of fact, I pale in comparison to their intelligence. I don't even come close. People look at the consultations and they don't like the consultations because they say that it's they can't afford it. Well, sorry. If you can't afford it, then I apologize. I am 100% to blame that you cannot afford my services. Oh, well. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I had somebody comment to say that I didn't give people worthwhile information. I almost let that bother me, but I couldn't let it bother me because I know what I know what crack you know does to people, and so I cannot allow somebody's addiction to get to me, and that's pretty much what they were you know looking to have happen we We don't play that. I don't need their crack, don't care for their crack, don't want their crack. they can keep their crack. Whew, so glad we got that taken care of. Ladies and gentlemen, I had a consult with a young lady. We had already had a consult previously. And our previous consultation, everything didn't mesh like it was supposed to. So I had the individual schedule the consult. We had the consult today. It was scheduled at 12 o'clock. It is 8.36, and I just finished the last part of their consult. No, I, I did take two and a half hours off. Okay. But that was over six hours of consultation today. Six hours. One person. Oh, I don't charge extra for that. Oh, no, no. I won't be doing it ever again. We're going to stick to three hours because you're getting more than what I promised. You're going to get your three hours, and that's going to be it. That will be the limit. Three hours will be it. We'll not be doing anything extra. Three hours will be the limit from this point forward. We won't be going over three hours. We'll be stopping everything at three hours. Why? Because I can't keep doing this to myself. This is a lot of work. And I give people what they ask for. I give people what they pay for because that's what I do. I, When I said... And I want you to understand, when I said two and a half hours, 45 minutes of that was a pre-consult for someone that will be getting a consult tomorrow. And they just paid for it, what was it, yesterday? And they wanted it, and so they said tomorrow, and I said fine. Their situation is unique in more ways than one. We talked for 43 minutes to explain to them exactly what to expect and what I would be able to do, and they are satisfied with the results. So go ahead, talk to people and see if they do a pre-consult and if they go 45 minutes to an hour. Now I have one person, he got a consult, it was a legal matter, and he decided to accept the plea. I can't be mad at him, that's his life, that's his choice. But at least he got the education. And as he said, that that information will help him in case anything like that comes up again. But here's the thing. It doesn't just help him. It helps all of the neighbors and all of the friends and all of the people that he might know. Because the information doesn't change. The laws doesn't change, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, for instance, I told one young lady that when it comes to driving, and I just got to make sure I go at the right angle with this so that I explain it. When it comes to driving, the state, legislature and Congress only have the right to regulate commerce. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're not traveling in commerce, then the regulations don't apply. But you know, you need to know that. Go and look at the Commerce Clause. It says Congress can only regulate commerce. Well, pay attention. If you are traveling on a highway in commerce, then you are being regulated. But if you're not traveling in commerce, where's the authority, the jurisdiction to regulate you? Now, some of you are going to get very clever, and you're going to start asking out of the courts. Where's the authority and the jurisdiction to regulate you? 
oh, you said a statute. No, I'm sorry. It has to be in the Constitution. It can't be in a statute. It has to be delegated to Congress in the first place for them to have the ability to regulate in the second place. The statute is the second place. It doesn't get the gold medal. Only the first place gets the gold medal. So where's the authority in the first place? First place is the winner. We, this is a race. First place is the winner. And statutes don't come in first place. They come in second and third place. You understand? Well, that's the problem. Yay. Or yay, yay. And that's what I explained to the person. Like I said, some of you guys are going to get clever with the information I just said. Go ahead and look at the Commerce Clause. Congress can only regulate commerce amongst the states. There is no jurisdiction for regulating more than that. There needs to be delegation of authority. Congress doesn't get to create its own delegation of authority. It has to be there in the first place, not the second place or third place. Third place and second place don't get the medal. We're not settling for bronze. We're going for gold. So either they have it or they don't have the authority. Congress doesn't have the authority. They never did to regulate the public, to regulate private commerce. Congress doesn't have the authority. It really is that simple. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I was going to let y'all get on what you're getting on. I got some things I got to go take care of, like get me some rest and some sleep. This has been a long day. Have a good night, everyone.